Oh, Landry, what's wrong? Bah, I've got some of that gross, sticky blue stuff stuck on my foot from all the reviews again. Oh, I hate that stuff. Hey, you know what? I've got a guy who can help remove that. Hang on. Brains. 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 Uh-oh. Relax, Landry. He's a zoologist. He can help you. Brains. Brains. Uh, I don't know about this. Brains. There you go. Wow, thanks. I feel so much better now. Very well. Now I require payment. You will be my minion of the night. Ah, uh, what's that? Come here. Uh oh, no, no, stop, stop it. What are you doing? Brains. 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 Uh oh. On the table today we have Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 Zoologist with turret in its package as it would appear on store shelves. Okay. On the back of the package, a quick bio. Zoologist with turret, the scientist's technical wizardry allows him to warp in close to his enemies where he can cause the most damage. He can also drop a zombie healing station for himself and his teammates. Okay, let's remove this animal helper outside of its package and dissect him some more. The zombie zoologist outside of the package, looking quite colorful with his animal friends. Unlike Deadbeard, the zoologist can stand a little better because both feet are on the table, but he's still a little tippy at times. There's lots of different animal creatures going on. We've got a little meerkat on his head, and he fell down. The meerkat looking so, so cute, doing the prairie dog pop up out of the zoologist's hair. We have a koala bear on his backpack with a couple little sensors. We have a very interesting porcupine weapon. I have yet to put together a zoologist in the game, but I hear that if you pet the porcupine, it will reload. Shooting spines, of course. There is also a red-orange snake crawling up his leg here. This is one of the few scientists, I believe, with both shoes on. A little bit of a paint misfire with the snake down there coming off onto his pants. But overall, still a very colorful looking toy, and I like how the goggles are transparent. We also have a little zombie protections turret, and it stands better than the zoologist. As for articulation, there's probably not too much going on other than the shoulders. A little bit of head rotation. A little bit of waist. It's kind of constricted by his lab coat, but you might actually be able to do a full 360. Sure, why not? And that might help you get a better balance. Looks like that koala is on there to white. Pretty good looking figure. Interesting choice though. What's wrong, tiny chipmunk squirrel? Uh oh, I'm not sure if you should do that. <laughs> I better go find Gray Squirrel to help out. Next. A quick compare with the original Zombie Scientist from Garden Warfare 1 and Diamond Select Toys. 
their figures were a little larger and slightly more detailed because of the size. But I'm kind of digging this new fun dead size for Garden Warfare. Oops. And a quick compare with Deadbeard. Basically the same size and they look good together. We'll fight well as a team. So far these are the two only figures that have come out. And I can't wait to see some plants. Gray Squirrel, Gray Squirrel, you have to help. The zombie zoologist has gone crazy and taken Landry and Tiny Chipmunk Squirrel. Sounds like a job for me. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. The Garden Warfare 2 Zombie Zoologist appears on store shelves March 2016. It is a great representation of a smartly fearsome zombie. That's what I have to say about that. Stay away from me, Zombie Zoologist. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please like, share, subscribe. Yes. Yes. Well, if you can't beat them, you join them. Yes. Yes. Yes.